7658. Welcome to Night Watch. I'm your host, Larry Kay. Post game, sitting here in New Brunswick, about to go do something enjoyable since that game was not enjoyable. Rough game. Uh, second time we played a team that was somewhat formidable in this uh, league, or generally in college basketball. We played Princeton the first time, looked disjointed, looked disorganized, looked like we didn't have enough effort, not, not enough heart, didn't know what we were doing. Win a, you know, a bunch of straight games against teams that we should be. Everything, everybody expected that. Now we go up against uh, Illinois, formidable team in our conference. You know, I'm not mad that we lost. I expected that we could lose, but that performance was just another disjointed, really sloppy effort that you don't know what is going on. And I got to put it on coaching. I got to be honest. I understand players are, are taking sloppy shots. They're not rebounding properly. The effort from some guys looks like it could be lacking. Other guys trying as hard as they can, but still not necessarily getting anywhere with it. But that's on coaching. You know, why are we, you know, we heard it against Princeton that we're just not organized yet. We're trying to figure out which lineups work. You know, who's the go-to guy? Who's going to be in at what game situations? Well, today what I saw was another hodgepodge of substituting three guys at a time, substituting four guys at a time. Who's the starters? Who's the go-to? I didn't love the starting lineup. Austin Williams goes in, gives us a great spark on defense and on offense, and we pull him and we go back down by 15. We come into the second half, we start with the starting five again. They're not getting it done. Cliff, I don't know if Cliff is injured. I don't know what's going on with him. I thought he would have a second gear. I was wrong on that. I'll eat my crow. I was wrong. Cliff just struggling. More of a lie. I hate to say it, but he seems like a liability out there. When Cliff was out of the game, and we've seen this in other games against even weaker teams, you pull Cliff out and we, we seem to be doing better. I don't know what's going on. I got to put it on coaching. This seems like a team that's built to run the floor play tough defense, press, and try to score in transition. And Aaron Brightman did something before the game, and he said, look, we're going to have to score in transition because Illinois can play good half-court uh, offense, and we are not great at that. And Illinois has better size than us. They have better scores than us. They don't have a pure point guard. But, you know, we're going to have to score in transition and play this transitionary game that we kept hearing about our all, all offseason, and we're not really running and playing in transition. That's on the coach. It seems like we just counted too much on like offensive talent and shooting ability, which hasn't come to fruition. We miss ridiculous amounts of layups, ridiculous amount of foul shots. That's been plaguing this program for years now, even when we're good. Um, I got to put it on coaching because why is there no semblance of any idea of what we're doing on offense or even defense now? We don't even look like we're the intense defensive team that we once were. I know Mag will make a difference, and I pray that he does, and I pray he comes back. This is another game without Mag. I don't know. Is he ever coming back? I don't. I mean, it's a tough injury. I'm not taking anything away from the kid. He has a right to his medical privacy. I'm just saying, without him, that's pretty tough. And so, you know, I think this season, like we said, is a transitionary season and to build a bridge from this year to next year. But if the coaching staff thinks that just because we're going to get an infusion of offensive talent next year, we can just throw whatever out there, that's a really bad philosophy, and it's not going to get us very far even next year. You have Gavin Griffiths. He's a prolific offensive player, but he, he's struggling on defense because he's a young player. He needs reps, and we're not even doing much to get him open shots or open looks or work into what would be good for him uh, from an offensive standpoint. So we're not even utilizing our weapons the right ways. Noah Fernandes, you know, some trouble on defense, uh, a good shot here or there, but, you know, I think struggling a little bit with the size and other things, hasn't, you know, played the way we wanted him to play when he, when he transferred in. Always knew this would be a tough year and a transitionary year, but it's looking tough. Illinois just seemed like they wanted it more, they were pumped, and, and the fact is they are connecting on their bunnies, they're connecting on their, their layups, they're connecting on their three-point shots, they're moving the ball all over the floor, and those are all things that Rutgers is just not doing on any level whatsoever. Rutgers is just not doing it, and you just got to wonder, you know, is this ever going to click this year? And at the end of the day, does this coaching staff have a plan, even when we get the influx and infusion of talent next year, to utilize that talent well? Is it just, hey, they are great, talented players, so just throw them out there and they'll figure it out, and we'll keep substituting four and three and two guys at a time with no semblance. I didn't see any substitutions that seemed to make any sense, like, oh, they're going small here. Oh, they're going fast here. Oh, it was just, they're just substituting masses of guys hoping something sticks. And when something did stick, they pull a guy out. So I don't quite get it. 
Frustrating to be a fan in that building tonight. The Illini were decently represented in there. The crowd was crazy. So don't tell me about the crowd. The crowd was loud. When we made that rally at towards the second half of the first half, I mean, it was fun. The crowd was very into it. It's the, louder than most times last year, to be honest with you. The crowd wanted it to happen. The student section, they brought it. Props to all them. But just a rough outing for us. And another really just... Remember that nucleus I've been talking about that we thought would coalesce? Against Illinois, we found out that we were not coalescing or building or structuring anything during this entire out-of-conference schedule we just played because nothing looked like they had any semblance of order or strategy or tactics to it. I have no idea what direction this team's going in right now. I think right now, if you're a Rutgers basketball fan, the best thing for you to do is have low expectations, consider this a transitionary year, let's hope we can get some fun wins, Let's hope we can turn the corner. I'm not giving up totally, but, you know, just have some fun with it. Hope some of these kids like Gavin get some reps and, and grow a little bit and hope that that helps us for next year. Um, I don't know if Cliff has an injury. I don't know what's going on with him, but hope he steps up and just hope that we can get some kind of order together. I mean, th this team has got to find who its go-to players are, what its seven to eight to six man rotation is, make it an eight man rotation. I don't care if you're making a deep nine man rotation with the ninth man getting less minutes, but figure out what you're doing with this team. And I hope Mag gets a recovery and comes back because right now we just look absolutely disjointed and it's frustrating to watch. It truly is frustrating to watch. I will have a more in-depth breakdown with stats and things like that. We'll talk this week uh, in a sit-down video, but I wanted to touch base really quick, share my thoughts. I know it's very, very frustrating to watch. Um, and I, again, you know, you could blame individual efforts, guys missing free throws, guys taking bad shots, guys not passing properly, guys not boxing out. That's all true. But when it's all over the team and when it's all different players and when you don't have any semblance of anywhere to go when you need help or when you need to stabilize the situation, I got to put it on coaching. So I'm calling you out, Pike. You know, figure this out for us, man. What what are we doing? What is this team this year? Who is this team? I know we got blindsided by Spencer. I know the Paul thing happened. So I know you had to kind of assemble a team at the last minute. But even if the team is not great, what is the team? Right now we have a bunch of guys just getting subbed in and out, running around. What is this team? Who is this team? Just a disappointing showing on our home floor against the Big Ten opponent. Difficult to take. Everybody try to enjoy the rest of your Saturday night. At the end of the day, it's still a conference loss against a good team. And we only lost to Princeton. In addition to them, Princeton's a good team. Season's still salvageable. But we better fix our stuff in-house before we get any aspirations of anything else for this team at all this year. And, you know, it, they better get it figured out quick because this thing turns really tough really quick. And it's not going to be an easy season. It never is. But this is... There's a lot of formidable out-of-conference stuff coming up soon, too. So you better figure it out. You better figure it out in-house. Who is this team? Who is this team? What is the strategy on offense? What is the strategy on defense? Who do we want to give the ball to? When do we want to give them the ball? When do we want certain guys in the game? When do we want certain guys out of the game? Who is this team? This looked like the same disjointed team that pr played Princeton. And again, you got guys with high effort. You know, like Jermichael Davis, but then he's going wild sometimes, hit the nice three, hit a couple other things, but then he's going into the paint with three guys there, you know. You got, you know, again, Simpson just, you know, doing some things, but again, a no-show, Hyatt missing layups. It, it's, it's the whole team. It's the whole team, and this is on coaching. Figure it out. Guys, if you haven't done so yet, please hit subscribe. It takes two seconds. Join Nightwatch. Plenty of Rutgers content coming at you all the time. We need to get to 500 subscribers. Where It's a big push. I know it's taken a long time, but I got a lot of loyal people out there who are supporting, and I appreciate all of you for watching. Show a friend. Show a family member. Tell them to click subscribe. Click like, but hit subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Try to enjoy the rest of your weekend. Larry K. out.